Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic and Survival this time. And because of my wonderful derp with my last auto turret build, I decided that I should just do it in Survival, have everything set up exactly as you would, and hopefully this time not forget anything like hooking up the timer. So, need the switch, need a controller, and need to have three gates for the controller to control the turret movement. One of them needs to be a NOR gate, the other two are AND gates. For the timer, and then two more gates, one of which is also a NOR gate. Since we're in survival mode, we need to have a potato canister. I'll throw some potatoes in there right now before I forget. Need to build up our actual turret. Throw that on top. Put all the spud guns. There's one. There's two. Put on that. Make sure the sensor is at maximum range. See, it's active. All right. This time, let's hook everything up and not forget where stuff is supposed to go. All right, so, controller set to the bearing to control the actual sweep. So we're gonna go, say, minus 90, plus 180, and then minus 90 again. So it'll sweep 90 degrees to the left. It'll go 180 degrees to the right and then sweep back to 90, which should have it facing forward again. And then we want that to be on loop. So we're gonna have our left end gate here will be what controls the controller. So we want the controller to be active when the switch is on, and when the sensor does not detect anything. So I turn the switch on, it should start panning. Turn the switch off, it resets back to normal. And if we stand in front, it'll kind of bob in front of us, maybe lock on a little bit, and then reset eventually. For the firing, we want it to be when the switch is on and when the sensor does detect something. Additionally, we need to set up our timer. So we're going to put this at, again, I like to use four. Whether it's good, bad, I don't know. It's just what I like to do. So now we've got that going. And this time, let's actually hook it up properly. So now we've got our timer hooked up to our AND. And then this is going to be hooked up to the spud guns. So now when the switch is on, actually we won't be able to tell. So let's hook up our spud guns to our wonderful ammo canister here. So now we can turn this on. And if we step out in front, it'll shoot at us. And even though it stayed locked on the entire time because of the timer actually being hooked up properly this time, it kept firing. And it's really as simple as that. So good luck with your own setups and have a good day.